Howdy folks, Joel Earth Tools here. And I'm gonna talk a little today about PTO engagement on walk behind tractors. So the PTO is the part of the tractor that drives the implement. Power takeoff is what it stands for. So a tractor like this, this is the PTO coupling. We're coupled up to a bush hog right now. This is a BCS 853. We've got a BCS 749 here with one of our hay balers on it. And we've also got a Grillo G110 here with a brush mower on it as well. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate different techniques uh, on engaging PTOs on this various, various equipment. But I'm also going to talk a bit about the internals of how a PTO engages. And this is a, these are gear drive machines. So everything that, you know, when you're engaging levers on these things, you're, you're making gears mesh inside the transmission. Gears, of course, are things with teeth on them. Uh, or splines. This would be considered like a, a spline where one piece is fitting into the other. And the thing is, they have to line up. Obviously, these, this piece is only going to slide into this piece if they're perfectly aligned. This is actually the PTO engagement gears out of a new BCS transmission right here. This is the driven gear, and this is the gear that brings the power to the PTO. So this comes from the engine, more or less. So if this thing isn't lined up, like it isn't right there, well, it's not going to go together. No amount of force of pushing against this thing is going to make these things go together. To make it go together, you have to turn it slightly. You've got to align those teeth. Now, on the Grillo machines and even some of the older BCS machines, they used a system like this. It's flat, three, three flat jaws on the PTO mating surfaces, and they fit together like this. So obviously, if they're not lined up right, they just don't go together. It's got to turn a little bit in order to drop in. Again, no amount of force pushing on the lever or cursing at it or you know, shoving on things is going to make them go together. What it needs is to turn until it aligns. So the question is how to get it to turn. You don't want to reach under there and like spin the implement shaft on a brush mower or a tiller. That's extremely unsafe and you know, very inconvenient. But the good thing is when the motor is running, the engine is of course trying to turn the rest of the machine. It's trying to turn the gears. What you have as the user to your advantage is the clutch. So, this is a Grillo G110 as I mentioned. It has the active clutch system on it, which meaning to put, when you push this clutch down, it engages power to the machine. On the BCS 749 and A53, well, let's back up. On the BCS 749, which is a hydraulic clutch machine, that is, it's the machine with the power safe uh, clutching system on it, you have a clutch handle on the bottom here, and when you let out the clutch, it's going to engage power to whatever you're trying to engage. Uh, and then the safety handle on top on a power safe unit is also hooked up to the clutch. So when you let this up, it disengages clutch drive as well. So this disengages clutch drive, this disengages clutch drive. This engages clutch drive. I'm, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. This disengages clutch. This disengages clutch. This engages clutch. So anyway, that's your clutch control. Um, this is a BCS 853, which like any BCS machine with a standard manual clutch, uh, essentially if it's a BCS machine that doesn't say power safe, it's got the standard clutch. And this is your clutch control on the bottom. So I'm going to fire these things up one after the other and demonstrate PTO engagement techniques on these things. How to get the PTO to engage easily. Because I'll tell you right now, when you go to engage the PTO on one of these machines, you're going to engage your rototiller or your brush mower or your sickle bar, whatever it is, about roughly half the time it doesn't want to go into gear. Sometimes 80% of the time it doesn't want to go into gear because those little teeth are not lined up. They have to line up perfectly so the things drop together. So I'm going to fire this one up first. <laughs> now the PTO levers on these machines, to engage the PTO, you're always going to move the PTO lever, which is this lever here connected to this rod, you're always going to move it toward the engine. So whether you've got the handlebars turned around this way and a tiller on it, or you've got the handlebars turned around this way with a mower on it, the, the shift lever has to move toward the engine to engage power. So I, I resist saying push or pull the PTO 
you know, because pushing and pulling is relative to where you're standing. If you're back here, you're pulling it. If you're back here on this side, you're pushing it. So just straighten that out. So I'm gonna engage this thing by pulling it toward the engine. Now look, I've got my clutch pulled, so there's no power going to the machine right now. This will not engage. So, like I said, half the time it's not getting engaged. Now I wiggled around on it a little bit and it dropped in. Bring your camera back down here and let's look, this, look at this thing. <laughs> so here it is disengaged, here it's engaged. So now that thing is lined up inside. And I forgot to turn on the fuel on this tractor so it quit. But we'll start it up again in a minute here. I'm turning on the fuel. The Grilla 110 has this style of PTO that I just talked about right here, the three jaw. Now with this one, the clutch mechanism is a little different because you're pushing it down to engage the, the clutch rather than having to squeeze the handle up. Turning this on will probably help. So here's the PTO lever on the Grillo. Pull it back toward the engine to engage it. It won't go in. I know how far this thing needs to move, and that's more than that. So I'm going to keep a little pressure on this. With the Quillo tractor with his active clutch, I just need to kind of bump this thing a little bit. So you can watch this. See that? As soon as I bumped it a little bit, I was able to pull that back an extra inch, and it came back into gear. Now the PTO is engaged. I'll disengage it. I'll bump this a few times just to turn the shaft. Not going. Yeah, that's all it took. Now I'm ready to run it. Now the power is going. and the lever is a lot more effective and a lot better for the machine than a lot of force. Because we've seen the results of when people, they do this and they try to jerk it in and they curse the machine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist the shift linkage, you could twist roll pins in there, uh, you can break the little plastic joints in the gear shifts and certainly you'll frustrate yourself because no amount of force will make one of these things engage if the teeth are not lined up. Now, finally, we're going to talk about the PowerSafe machine here. This has a clutch system that works similar to the 853, the standard clutch, but there's one important difference, and that is on the PowerSafe machines, the way the PowerSafe clutch engages, uh, it is kind of an 
all or nothing clutch. It's not like the standard clutch machines or the active clutch machines where you can kind of feather the clutch just a little bit to get the shaft to turn slightly. On the power safe, if I start letting this lever out on the bottom, as soon as it starts to, as soon as the clutch starts to engage, it's like zero to a thousand RPM, bang, like that. It's full power. So you can't do that little deal of putting some pressure on it and just slowly letting out the clutch. Because as soon as that shaft starts to turn, it turns full speed and you'll grind those gears. You get that horrible grinding noise like you do when you put your car in gear without, you know, remembering to push the clutch. And it's bad. You're going to screw the PTO up. So on the power safe units, you basically have to just, if it doesn't go into gear, you just release the clutch, pull it back in, try again. Actually, it went right in that time, but it's not even running, so that was pure luck. Uh, but you just essentially have to keep releasing the clutch and squeezing it again and then set, uh, pulling the, uh, the shift lever in as a separate operation. That is, you don't do the deal where a little pressure and then let it out slow because you will grind the gears. So I'm going to demonstrate up that on this machine. Okay. PTO not going in. And just for... For, on the BCS machine, you have a little bit of a visual aid because this has to come all the way up against this roller in order to jump into gear. So, now it engaged. I got lucky there. Now it's running the baler. Push it out. Not going in. So if it's not going in, I'm not going to do the trick of pulling on this. I'm just going to leave it alone. Release the clutch. Pull it in again. Try it again. Try it again. Okay, went in on the third try. But that's the procedure, and it's sometimes a little irritating, but it's not that bad once you get used to it. There we go. About every third time it's going in. And once it's in, it's in all the way, you're good to go. So with that knowledge, you'll be able to use your Walkman tractor a little easier. Thanks for watching.